So what's up guys? It's me Percy and recently if you follow my Instagram Dramatic Parrot then you can see that I have recently painted a pair of shoes that were Captain America themed for a friend who commissioned me for another friend but it was fantastic. Um, so today I wanted to kind of go over the process that I go with my shoe painting skills. I don't do it that often, so if I see if you see something and you're an awesome painter, shoeer, professional person, and you see me do something that's like, what? What is she doing? She needs to stop. Then I'm sorry, but I'm not a professional shoe painter. Kind of wish I was. It's a really fun thing. But as you can see, I did go ahead and I bought myself a pair of bobs from Skechers. It's really nice. Got the memory form foam for bleh, memory foam and everything. I like memory foam and I like bobs. I actually have an, another pair of black bobs, but I just wanted to leave those for my backstage walking around and stuff because they're comfy. So I like bobs, good canvas material. So we're going to give this a go and see how it turns out. Okay, first things first, supplies. What People keep asking me, like, what paint do you use on your shoes and everything? I use 99 cents acrylic paint from Michaels. Pretty sure most of it's like craft paint, super cheap, and my super cheap paint brushes and a sponge, paper plate, and water. Yes, um, but the brand that I use for my paints is uh, Americana. I don't know what that purple one is. Uh, Americana, once again. And I just use all these awesome paints. Uh, folk art, which I will use in the end to just give some sparkles. It's really cool. It goes on clear. Another Americana. It's great. Gonna get so galactical up in this place. It's gonna be great. I know I usually don't really like chat during my uh, time lapses or anything, but I kind of wanted to talk about this process that I'm going through just because it's a little bit hard to really do a tutorial on how to paint shoes. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Um, I didn't really know how to explain it, but as I'm watching along with my video and since I've already done it and I've already done another shoe um, prior to this pair of shoe, this pair of shoe, shoe, this one shoe. I can say shoe, shoe, say shoe again. Okay, shoe. Anyways, <laughs> so um, of course the biggest problem I have with painting shoes for myself is what the heck am I going to put on these pair of shoes? It's not like I can go out and buy another pair of $50 Bob shoes, which I do not recommend if you're trying to keep it cheap and everything. Um, my friend who got me the, Amer the uh, Captain American shoes, Captain American, <laughs> the Captain America shoes she got for to me was um, actually from Walmart, that pair of shoes. And they were $7, she said, so that's super cheap. And then Target, I saw, had a good option, about $15, $14 shoes. But I have to say, if you're gonna get a pair of Bobs or Toms and you bring them to your artist or you paint them yourself, Make sure you pick out a design that's going to be cool for a very long time because, like I said, Dobbs and Bobs, they can be quite expensive. Basically, with this whole design that I'm approaching and everything, once again, it's a galaxy design, so I'm mixing blues and pinks and my purple. I'm only using that and I'm like around the edges I'm like making like a black darkness and everything and I smooth everything out with my little sponge that I showed at the beginning of the video but you know just really trying to keep it looking cool and galactical and everything adding lots of lots of layers because that's gonna be your best friend because layers will always be your best friend layers on top of layers layers on top of layers I don't know why, but this is always my favorite part about any of my time lapses or my drawings or anything is when I put stars on my galaxies uh, designs and everything. I love putting stars on because I know I'm near the end and I think stars are like the best feature ever because I like the galaxy. Get it? Ah, now you see what I'm doing here. We have a little crack on the side of my shoe. Oh, what's this? A little itty bitty box. So I wonder what I'm doing here. What 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 am I doing? Oh, it's such a surprise, Percy. You're so funny. Look at you and your surprise designs. You're crazy. <laughs> What I do want to encourage you guys, if you are painting a pair of shoes, or if you're an artist and you're getting ready to paint a pair of shoes, and you've got a really tiny design like this little TARDIS, what matters is that you're, it's almost like when you go and see a play, when you're painting a set, nothing really puts 
looks put together um, when you look at it close, but when you're far away, it looks completely real and everything. So that's the main thing. Details are awesome, but it's okay because no one's going to get really close to your feet and look at it. And here we go. Just a little preview of my wibbly wobbly tiny wimey shoes. Have a chance in your life to go out, buy a pair of shoes from Target or Walmart and paint them with your friends and I definitely recommend it. I mean, uh, cheap supplies, you can get them anywhere. $7 shoes from Walmart just to practice on and everything. But it's totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun activity. Okay, the most important supply that's going to help you is all right, don't go around in your painted shoes and stomping around in puddles, but when rain hits and you got your shoes on, this is going to be your best friend, polyacrylic. And you can get it from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart even. Um, it's going to just spray it on. Make sure you spray your shoes outside when you are fully done with your design. This is going to at least protect your shoes from rain or drizzle or mud or anything. Hey guys, well thanks so much for watching this little tutorial or vloggity vlog vlog or how I showed you how to paint shoes, I don't know. But yes, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to do tutorials, I post a tutorial every Thursday, make sure to subscribe to my channel, make sure you follow my Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, Pinterest, they're everywhere. So go ahead, give those a follow, like, whatever. I'll see you guys later on Thursday. Bye!